The Avro Anson is a development of the Avro 625 civil transport machine and has been used by Coastal Command on reconnaissance and for twin engine training. It was one of the first aeroplanes to be put into quantity of production when the expansion scheme began and has been built in very large numbers in Canada as well as in Great Britain. So let's introduce the Avro Anson, a very distinctive looking plane and a sturdy old standby for all occasions. This flight shows the glass house and very roomy it seems. Next the circular gun turret halfway along the top of the fuselage. You should see my tomatoes. And lastly the large and well-rounded fin and rudder. Here comes the Anson about its business. A low wing monoplane with pointed fuselage and diamond shaped tailplane. Now we can check up on her silhouette. Little taper from wing roots, rounded wing tips. Trailing edges of wings rounded into fuselage, which with the engine set close together gives a very thick look to the center of the wingspan. Twin radial engines with knobs on, and a very striking recognition feature, the definite diamond shape of that tailplane. Anson return trip. There's that diamond shaped tailplane, and as she flattens out, you'll notice the very low wing effect of her. Now we'll see if she's as easy to spot at various angles in her flight. But remember to absorb her general appearance as well as the detail. Lifting in the air, you see a short, blunt nose. The engines are set close to the fuselage as well. Those close set engines again, and the thick set appearance once more. Avro Anson, all right. Wings, little taper from roots to well-rounded tips. Wing roots at the trailing edge are smoothed round into the fuselage. And now another definite pointer, that low-set diamond-shaped tailplane. You can't go wrong. And so to a detailed survey of her side view before we pass on. The glass house. The circular gun turret. The large, well-rounded tail unit. The low tailplane. Yes, she's pretty easy, isn't she? Or is she? Here she comes straight for you. Now what can you see? Yes, a low wing monoplane with little dihedral. Engines with knobs on. Close set to fuselage. With wheels showing. Squat fuselage with clean underside and a flagpole of a tail fin above it with no tail plane to show. As the Anson lifts a bit, a short blunt nose and the close set engines. The close set engines again and that thick set look. Little taper to wings and well-rounded tips. Wing roots smoothed into fuselage. And Anson's the name. And finally, the low diamond-shaped tailplane which solves our recognition problem as she flies away home. So remember, glass house, compact thickness forward, diamond tailplane, that's the Anson and a sturdy all-rounder.